with the Nuggets looking to put that one away on the road. Nikola Jokic, Damian Lillard, what a series this was and what a game it was last night. Time winding down in the first half, the Blazers were leading by four and it's Damian Lillard. You go find me a player who's been better in this postseason than him. His 35th three of the series, most threes in any playoff series ever, he would finish with 28. Now under five seconds to go in the third. Nuggets down by six. Monty Morris had himself a night. He scored 22. It was a three-point game going to the fourth. Under seven minutes to go in the fourth. Now Nuggets are just down one. That's Nikola Jokic with the three. He would score 36. Denver takes the lead. Under four minutes to go in the fourth. Nuggets by six. Austin Rivers with his own three. Nuggets scored 65 points in the second half. They were pulling away. Just under two minutes to go now. Nuggets leading by six. It's Jokic from Morris. Jokic had 27 in the second half, and that's all she wrote. Denver wins 126-115, moving on to the next round to face the Suns. And then after the game, Damian Lillard posted this on his own Instagram. That photo, and as you can read, the caption says, how long should I stay dedicated? How long till opportunity meet preparation? Which is quoting Nipsey Hussle. But as I come back to the players here, Kendrick Perkins, how should someone read that? What should someone take from what Damian Lillard posted? I mean, he's frustrated, Greeny. He's frustrated. When you think about it, look, the man had 55, one of the best uh, uh, playoff performances that we witnessed in game four, right? I mean, in game five, and then when you think about how deflating that is, when a guy like Dame Dollar has put this organization on his back for eight years, like you, 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 you start to wonder. And no one would, no one would uh, discredit or look at Dame any type of way if he decided to leave Portland, because we know what he did. We know he tried to stick it out. We know he didn't run from the grind. But at the end of the day, as a player that's getting up, you know, he's. I think he's thirty. 31, you know, he's getting up kind of in that age of, you know, he don't have too much of his prime to waste. And he's looking around. He's like, man, hold on. I, it might be time. It might be time for a change. It might be time for me to go somewhere else. And no one would be mad at him. I know I wouldn't. I, no, I, I think that's right. He is 30 years old. So, Legs, if, if indeed this feels like it might be the beginning of that, how would you envision it playing out? How, how, what do you think would be the best scenario for him? Yeah, I love the word that Perk used, frustrated. I'll even go maybe another level, exasperated. I'll also say this word, mm -hmm. Greeny, envious, envious. And you know mm -hmm. what I'm talking about? I'm talking about him sitting around year after year, going home in the first round for the most part, and watching stars paired up on other teams make great runs and win championships and have parades and all those things. And we have admired Damian Lillard because – He's been in a small market team. He's been that guy that it seems like maybe he's going to stay with one team his entire career. And we've admired him for that. But the problem is this. At some point, you feel like when you're dropping double nickels on teams in a postseason game and losing, you feel like you're banging your head against the wall. And you start to realize, I'm probably closer to the end of my career than the beginning of my career. So do my priorities start to change a little bit? And there is nothing wrong for him to think that way. He cannot be blamed because the landscape of the NBA dictates that that's what you're going to need to do if you really want to have a chance to win a championship. Think about this. He's never even favored in series for the most part in his career. As great as he is, every postseason he goes into, he's an underdog right off the bat, whoever they're playing. So I look around the league – and you start to think about other teams that maybe could be a possibility for Damian Lillard. I don't know if his mind is there. I mean, he, he sent that out right after the end of his season. You know how frustrated he is sending that out? So maybe he has time to think about it, and he's going to stay in Portland, and that's going to be long-term for him when he has time to think about it over the summer. But right now in the moment, there's no doubt he's going to sit back for the next, you know, six weeks and be envious of what he's going to watch as star players pair up and they make long runs in the postseason. That's got to be difficult for a guy this talented. Yeah, remember, he played four years of college, so he's older than you may think he is. He'll be 31 what? in July. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.